You're listening to Freedom Fastlane presented by Capitalism.com. This is the show about building businesses and investing the profits so that you can live life on your terms. And now your host, the future owner of the Cleveland Indians, Ryan Daniel Moran. My name is Ryan, and for the last 10 years, I've been an internet marketer. And internet marketer is really a fancy way of saying creating compelling offers on the internet through persuasion and good copywriting and the right languaging in order to convince enough people to buy products that I have a financial stake in. That would be kind of the uh, really blunt and honest way of saying what an internet marketer does. And if you're an internet marketer, then you've probably noticed a few trends in our little community. First of all, that it all seems to be about how much money everybody else is making. It also seems to be about who can persuade or out-persuade the next person to buy a thing that you may or may not believe in. But in my experience, the people who actually believe in what they're doing is far outweighed by the people who just got into this because they wanted a financial better way of life. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. In fact, I think it's your moral obligation and it's your personal responsibility to maximize your earning potential and to make the most money possible because then you'll hire the the most people. That means that you'll serve the greatest number of people. And all of that is how we move forward as a society. But in our community, in the internet marketing world, it has very little to do with that, at least in the majority of cases. And and I'm not speaking to those of you who believe in what you're doing, who see the change that you want to create in the world and are are doing that. I I commend you, but I'm not speaking to you. Instead, I'm, I'm speaking to those of you who are in our community, in this internet marketing world, because you wanted a better life. You wanted to make more money, and that's a good thing to do, but you've become stuck in this in this giant black hole of our community that is always about out-persuading and out-earning the next guy. It has become a big dick contest. It has become a fancy car contest. It has become a comparison contest rather than a contest of who can serve the greatest number of, of customers of who can solve the biggest problems. That's what an entrepreneur is. It's a person who solves problems. It's somebody who sees a gap in the marketplace and solves it. And as a result is financially rewarded. And when you're first starting out, it makes sense to say, what's the thing that's gonna make the most money? What's the thing that is gonna get me free of my job? What is the thing that I can do now in order to start making money and and learn to be able to hack it as an entrepreneur. But after you figured that out, when the game just becomes the pursuit of of more because your community says that you should, that's when you lose all freedom. Because that's when you have stopped creating your life. You have become a slave to the community that we've created that was supposed to give you a better life. And what I have discovered is in our world more than most, there is more unhappiness, there is more loneliness, there are more people looking for purpose in what they're doing, even though they're making great money, even though they have a following on the internet, even though other people edify what they're doing. They feel empty, they feel lonely, they even worry about money more than before they had means. Here's why. It's because you've forgotten that an entrepreneur is someone who solves problems, including your own. I know this is the state of most internet marketers because I've been hanging out with you for 10 years. I know what it's like to make more money than you thought you would and somehow feel less fulfilled. And the reason is because we've lost our big reason why. And at the same time, we all wanna be Elon Musk. That's sexy right now, doing these big, cool things. Everybody wants to create the company that impacts the world. And we like to talk about solving all these big problems like Elon and, and like Branson and like Steve Jobs did. We all like to talk about it, but when it comes to action, we completely forget that. 
And instead, our focus becomes on how do I extract even more because I want to be a billionaire? Well, serving yourself has diminishing returns. It's not a bad idea to make more money. You should make more money. And when you're just becoming an entrepreneur, you need to do those things that line your bank account so that you have the funding to move forward. Those are all good things to do, but it has diminishing returns. And once you've acquired the skill set, the only way that you'll ever feel fulfilled, the only way you'll ever be Elon, the only way that you'll ever have the B next to your name is by identifying some cause or some problem so big that it motivates you and compels you to move forward so that all of these skill sets and experiences that you've had up until now are perfectly aligned so that you can solve that problem. That's how you create fulfillment. That's how you create change. That's how you get the B next to your name. That's how you change the world. Look, you're in a unique position. You understand persuasion. You understand marketing. You probably have a following. You have the ability to impact people at the click of a button through a Facebook video, an email to your list, by putting up a blog post, by figuring out how to make something go viral. You're in a unique position to impact millions of people, billions of people. You will never do that and you will never be happy with your life if you only see that as power to serve yourself. Because true happiness, true fulfillment, and true wealth doesn't come from a mentality of how much can I take. It's how many people can I serve. It's time to remember to solve problems. And that is when entrepreneurship gets cool again. That's when capitalism is cool again. And it's up to you to change it. We teach entrepreneurs to build businesses and to invest the profits. And one of the ways we do that is by helping people build sellable and scalable brands. This is my buddy, Jeremy Shirk. What was the turning point of it all? I mean, like going from ping pong, selling ping pong balls to running a multi-million dollar business. You don't sell ping pong balls anymore. So what was the turning point? And how long did it take you to get there? That's a great question. I mean, there's so many things involved. There's men your, your, your mentorship, the, the people you brought together in this group, the masterminding, the networking. I know the answer you're looking for. It's really getting clear on our mission and our why yeah. as a company and communicating that to our market, our customers, and that resonating with them. And then them just getting behind our mission, and buying into it emotionally. And and you really believe in what you're doing. Yes. What you're doing is making That's a difference true. in the world, which That's is true. what I say true entrepreneurship and capitalism does. It does yeah. a good thing in the it's world. It's not just a PR move. It's not just like we're going to do And it's not just you're money. You're actually no. like making a big difference in the world. Yes. From the time that it took you to start your business until now, how long did it take you to hit a million dollars? That would have been uh, just over a year, about a 12 months time. Cool, yeah. man. Yeah. So three years ago, did you run a million dollar business? A year later, did you run a million dollar business? Today, do you run a multi-million dollar business? Yes. Good work, man. Knuckle me. So we teach a three-stage formula that Jeremy used to build a million dollar business. We've taught this to hundreds of millionaires who have built businesses that make a difference in their families and their communities' lives. And we hold live trainings to teach this to new and experienced entrepreneurs. If you want to start a company, build a company that makes a difference, that also is successful and gives you the type of life that you want, we teach that for free on trainings because we believe the world's better when we have more successful entrepreneurs and capitalists who make a difference and change their families' lives and their family trees. If you're an aspiring entrepreneur or current business owner and want to learn more about building brands and investing the profits, sign up on our website, www.capitalism.com slash sign up, and we'll send cool strategies, stories, and economic updates directly to you. That's www.capitalism.com forward slash sign up. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, capitalism.com, to watch our entrepreneurial and investment videos.